when we're out on the landscape, uh, really trying to get to know an area, we try to find these stratigraphic cuts that expose datable materials, including shell that we can radiocarbon date, tephras that we can look at uh, over a very broad area, uh, so volcanic eruptions, and then uh, things to charcoal date. But what we're really looking at on this project is luminescence, and that's Christina's specialty. Yeah, so luminescence dating is really a method we use to determine the last time sand or rocks have been exposed to light. So when we determine a luminescence age, it's telling us uh, the time that the sand or the rock has been buried in the landscape. Um, and sometimes that sand unit is also associated with archaeological artifacts, which can be dated at the same time. So um, we're interested in finding these exposures that can expose sand or rock units that we can sample for luminescence dating. So the great thing about these ancient shorelines, uh, particularly, particularly the ones that are well preserved, the steps that you see are often protected by gravel. And so if you look at very generally the elevation around the basin, if there hasn't been a lot of tectonic movement, uh, usually the, the, the height of the water at a particular elevation is preserved as a sort of a bathtub ring all the way around the lake. So plus or minus three meters uh, in elevation is usually sort of the same event or the same, uh, same lake. So luminescence dating and radiocarbon dating um, are two types of what we call absolute dating techniques, where we are using a method to determine a numerical age estimate, so 1,000 years plus or minus uh, 500 years or so. Uh, but there's other ways to determine the age of archaeological sites. Um, they might include geomorphology. Mm -hmm. And relative dating techniques, right? Yeah. So when we, we're not just looking at these shorelines, we're looking at alluvial fans and other landforms, drainage cuts, uh, and we're able to determine which came first by looking at the relationship between those landforms and the archaeology. Also, where is the archaeology on the landscape? Uh, what was available? That's one reason it's important to understand the ages of these landforms is because we want to know what were, what were available for people to use. They didn't live underwater. So obviously they're not going to, uh, the most ancient peoples are not going to be out in the basin um, living underwater. So we want to understand the lake movement and, and all of the other food resources to understand the distribution of people. But the technology, the artifacts give you an age estimate as well. Yes, right? the, especially projectile points. That's what usually uh, preserves in uh, most of the Great Basin. What you see is although they had this rich uh, assemblage of artifacts and, and technology that they used, including bone and textiles, we see the rock because that's what preserves out in the open. So what's unique about this approach to luminescence dating is that we're trying to target a, a large particle size to what is typical. Um, traditional luminescence dating typically involves dating sand or silt um, that we collect using PVC tubes. Um, but now we're actually trying to target intentionally larger rocks, so large pebbles or cobbles where they are available within the beach ridges. Um, we believe that these kinds of ages uh, are probably going to be a more accurate estimate of the age of the beach ridge because once a, a cobble or a pebble has been deposited in a shoreline, because it's heavier, it's less likely to be reworked by wind or even by plant roots or trampling by animals. Um, they're much more stable constituents in the landscape, whereas the sand and the silt gets blown, it gets winnowed away by the wind, it can get washed away immediately after by water, um, it can uh, come back later as a younger deposit that infiltrates the pore spaces of the coarse gravels and give us an age that's much much too young. So we're trying to target the large cobbles and the boulders in these, these uh, beach ridges.